Hey guys, it's the Jesus Mechanic with yet another video, the fourth video of the day. Probably one of the, either the last one or the next to last one. As you can see, I'm looking at my dad's GT Karakorum. Um, I had a bike very similar to this. It was an orange GT Avalanche 4.0. So it was like the, the really cool orange with black and whatnot, which I did sell that to a subscriber slash trade earlier a few almost almost two years ago at this point um i also got that let's see if we can zoom in at all yeah that iron horse maverick over there it's really cool i think i spent all of 200 bucks upgrading it and bring it into the condition it's in but um either way though that bike is just it's better than this gt i mean my dad paid 600 bucks for this gt and, I mean, he's already had brake failure. It's rubbing bad against the um, chain over there. Like, the chain's rubbing the bike frame bad. Well, I mean, we just haven't had it repaired right recently. But on top of that, just, why? It's just going to have another failure. It's had tons of failures. My mongoose has also had failures, too. So, I mean, I'm not always the best decision maker in, like, hey, let's find a reliable bike. But, I mean... At least once I fixed the problem, I fixed several problems on the bike and it, they haven't occurred again. However, we fixed tons of problems with this bike and it, they just keep coming back. Um, so, I mean, there, there's, there are reasons to buy the cheap one. Cool thing about the blue one, though, we found it on the side of the street. Yep, an iron horse on the side of the street. It's made in the USA. GT's made in China. They both have tons of really cool fancy parts on them and whatnot, but... My bike, which has become more reliable, made in the USA, has really good shocks on it too, and it's just as big and adequate and has just as good a crank set, was free. Yep. 600. Free. I mean, really, people, like, there's no comparison. Just look at the bike. It is just ultimately beautiful. Just, it has the green little headstock there. With a bronze little clip there for spacing. Has $20 50-50 grips and handlebar. Along with Crazy 8 um, handlebar antlers. It has brand new trigger shifters that have been prototyped. So, I mean, back when I got them, they were like the first off the line. That seat is actually original. And it's a WTB, which is really sick for a free bike. It also has a really nice sunlight crankshaft and crank and it's just really nice it also has a really nice hub with a basic shimano derailleur and yeah we paid 600 bucks for a junky acera which has failed numerous times well and well my mongoose shimano which you can't see with my dad's darn golf bag in the way but it's there somewhere in that area bearish um it is there, and it's just it's just pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't like the the hub's cool and the wheel's cool, but the shifter doesn't do the job. Um, mine has a little more upgrades than his does. Like mine's a twenty four speed. I think his might also be a twenty four speed. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's a twenty four speed too. But either way, this whole fancy one they. They both had disc brakes. My mongoose has disc brakes, has really good sunlight shocks and whatnot, and he has rock shocks with disc brakes and all that stuff. This full suspension mongoose, which is really sick if you look at it, it has some pretty sweet parts on it. This is the XR Pro mongoose. I would re recommend you get one if you're looking for one that you're willing to spend a tad bit more than you pay the, for the bike. So, like, talk about 400 instead of 300 and then you could have a better bike better than a $600 piece of junk. Um, that orange Avalanche I was talking about earlier, though, it was an okay bike. It, it did its light. It did what I wanted it to. It survived basically everything I could throw at it. Um, and it lasted. It was probably one of the most reliable bikes I had. Um, but the thing is, once you outgrow a bike, you have to get rid of it. But even then, it wasn't as good as the Iron Horse. So... That bike was 450 on clearance when I got it. Um, still doesn't beat my $200 freebie. I know it sounds weird to say $200 freebie, but I mean, the bike was free, and then you add the accessories on it. So, still, 
In all honesty, it was $200 comparison to $400, but the quality is much, much better. The frame steel versus the other one that I sold to the subscriber was aluminum. So, technically, that bike frame could dent. This thing isn't going anywhere. It is solid as heck. Um, this thing also, I think, is aluminum, and it just, it's just weird. It also has had head failure right there, so we've had to re have that replaced once. Luckily, it was under warranty, so we didn't have to deal with it. Um, this bike, the Mongoose, is still under warranty, but we just didn't take it back because I don't trust the people at Walmart just monkeying around on my bike, so I'm going to try to do it myself. Hopefully that goes well and I can be out there riding again soon. As you can see, um, we haven't been riding anywhere anytime recently, but it's still pretty cool to have it around. I also have a green BMX bike. I sold the same subscriber who got um, the orange GT mountain bike a Haro BMX bike. Um, I had cuddled and polished that bike for years. I really cared for it. It had been my dream since I was probably two to get a BMX bike, and I finally saved up and bought that Haro, but then this thing rolled around at Walmart for like, I think it was like 90 bucks, or 80, I, no, it was only 80 bucks, yeah, and it comes with like, two-tone tires, light sport pegs, I made some upgrades, like a different handlebar, different um, brake cl clutch, and a um, different, like, I wonder where the brake things were, like the, um, that brand grips, I don't really care for the name of them and whatnot. I just don't care about the grips. I prefer these 5050 ones. They're, they're better, they're, and they're also cheaper. So if you're looking for buy grips, don't buy these. The ODI ones, just avoid them. Unless you really have to have that waffle dual lock thing, which dual lock, if you have to get grips, always buy dual locks. They're better for your bike, and you'll be glad you got them because you can replace them much, much easier. Um, this thing also has a screwed on head, so like it has the old fashioned type you see in Walmart bikes all the time. However, it's just as reliable and honestly, it weighs the same. The other cool thing is it has the 360 thing, so I can do like tail whips and a bunch of cool other things with this bike that I couldn't have done as easily with my Haro. Honestly, I just think this bike for the price was very well built and it's just as solid as the Haro and it's actually in better condition since it is newer than the Haro. Um, apparently the subscriber who, um, has the Haro told me he was able to either break the hub or something happened to the hub. I don't remember what fully happened, but either way, the back wheel is just completely destroyed in the back of that bike. So, probably a good thing I got rid of it when I did, because, who knows, maybe that was right around the corner, or maybe he just destroyed it while doing some stupid stunt. I have no clue, but I mean, life's life, it happens... Sometimes if you're harder on things, you just have to fix them more often. So I'm pretty easy on things, so that's why these bikes will probably last me another 20 years. Um, and then the, that one over there is already about 20 years old. That's why I say another 20. Um, another cool thing about um, my garage here is... Oh, that's just a box for the fender of my truck, by the way. Yep, I got a fender. I feel thrilled. Also, I have a um, two scooters here. Yep, these are both mine. This is a upgraded stunt scooter from Walmart that was fifty bucks. Yeah, we, the last owner of it, I got it, and then I sold it to the same subscriber who has the GT and Haro, and then he sold me it back. So, that's kind of sick. Um, the other one's just a Pro Razor that he basically gave me too, but it's kind of crappy though. So I mean, it's up to preference. I mean, this tire i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it's just flat right here i mean there's it's just like it's been drifting it's crazy well either way we have other women's bikes here too in the back um my sister's which is a genesis whirlwind from walmart was also a good deal same thing with my mom's track which is a project which you guys will be seeing more videos on so stay tuned because i might be doing something weird with it um, also, these are two trailer tires I have, so if you want them, let me know down in the description, and I'll see about we can make a deal so that you can pick them up. They're kind of cool. Um, yeah, that about sums up my garage. 
and all the bikes I have and the reasons I have them. I also have bike parts. If you guys ever need bike repairs or anything or need a part or something like that, just let me know. Um, if you live in the um, East County area of San Diego. So I don't want to drive like to Kansas or anything to help you guys if you're watching. Not that I wouldn't if I could, but just it doesn't make sense. Um, so like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, on a we're probably, wow, man, as this video gone long, hey, just see you guys in the next one.